Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney if you don't know me already and on my channel I react to drum corps international videos, military videos and sport videos and other stuff as well but mostly surrounding America. So if you want to get a New Zealanders perspective on any of those things definitely hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video we've got something a little bit different. Thank you so much to Trey for recommending this video. I love how you send me really interesting videos and really different topics that I've never that I wouldn't necessarily stumble upon myself. So thank you so much for sending this through. In today's video, we are gonna check out the Lion Man, Kevin Richardson from South Africa. Let me know if you have heard of, um, let me know if you've heard of, let me know if you have heard of Kevin Richardson. Let me know if you have heard of Kevin Richardson. I have never heard of him before, so I'm really interested to watch this video. So yeah, let's get into the video. Thank you so much to Trey for recommending this and let's do it. Whoa. Most people look at a lion and go, Regal king of the jungle, but man-eater. Yes, yes I do. I think a lot of people think I'm <laughs> dancing with death. Naturally, one's gonna go, well, this guy's crazy and it's only a matter of time before he gets eaten. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. An animal to kill or a lion specifically is always there. And when they get into that mode of kill, one bite and you're dead. Oh my god. You won't find a lion roaming the wilds of Australia. And you'll never find anyone like this man. In truth, there's, there's no other animal that will humble you quicker than a lion. I swear. If the late Steve Irwin had a kindred spirit, it would be Kevin Richardson. It's a hyena! He shuns the company of people. Instead, his life centers on living with one of the most ferocious predators on the planet. You know, I might, you know, piss one of them off one day and he might take my head off, but so be it. To understand Kevin's obsession, I've traveled thousands of kilometers to Southern Africa. You get adventurers in the world. Pioneers, explorers. Without them, without those people in the world, the world would still be, you know, such a small little place. You know, Christopher Columbus and all these adventurers. <laughs> people must have thought they were completely That's loony. That's true. At time. Loony as it may sound, we're heading straight into lion territory. You get some of the prides are really grumpy and will we'll eat you pretty quickly. But uh, so these it's are only a matter wild. of time before one of them comes and investigates you and uh, the rest. It could be history. <laughs> you don't get nervous? No, no. <laughs> no, but I think if I was getting nervous, then, you know, after this period of time, I, I think I should be sitting myself down and saying, well, what are you actually doing? <laughs> That's true. Kevin is preparing to walk freely among a pride of lions with no cage and no protection. You always got to observe who looks like they're grumpy, who looks like they're affable, before you just go in there guns blazing. At this moment, he's only armed with a deep understanding of animal instinct and lion behaviour. I'll announce myself, you know, I'll talk to you, oh, oh, and give them, you know, so that they know it's me coming, I'll talk so they can hear my voice. And at least then when you walk in, they know what to expect. Ah, 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 back off, back off, back off, back oh, off. <gasps> but then oh. something incredible happens. Hi. <laughs> Come on, push our big lion sandwich. This is a love story like no other. Who's your my boy? This feared predator, this lion, this killer, this man eater, you know, has the ability to show such love. Yo, when they jump up like that, scares me every time. Mindless man-eaters, 
Kevin believes the lions have a gentle side that few know about. No, so you come to say hello now, eh? What amazes me is they jump on me gently. They don't unsheath their claws. And when they bite me, it's gentle. But don't be fooled. These big cats are far from tame. So I'm filming from the safety of a cage. <laughs> And as I found out, they don't take too kindly to strangers. Interesting. Yeah, they hate him. Suji? Suji? Anyone else would run a million miles from these cats. When you walk up to them, what do you see? It's, it's hard to explain what I see when I walk up to the lions because to everyone else watching, their mind obviously flicks back to documentaries of lions yeah. on the back of buffalo's backs and Look. taking down uh, you know, wildebeest and zebra. Incredible animals though, eh? So, you know, I think people have got that in their head. But to me, these are just my, you know, my friends. Let's go. Come on. I assume that they were like his animals, right? That he kept on his own little sanctuary, but these are literally from the wild. Twelve and a half years of amazing bonding and brotherhood. Kevin's first contact with lions was while volunteering at a South African wildlife park. There, he met two cubs that captured his heart. So they know him. And he won theirs. Hey, 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 no, no, that's really good. <laughs> I, I met these two lions, I fell in love with them. Uh, there was almost like this bond, it became almost a brother, an honorary brother. I began to realise that, you know, you can't just look at all predators out there and say, well, that's how a lion behaves. They're characters, and that's what I wanted to get to know. You know, I didn't wake up one morning thinking I was going to go and save the big cats of, of Africa. Um, it was more of a preparation. Today, he owns an 1,800-acre game reserve where four lion families run wild. Before I knew it, there it's was amazing. nine, then it was 15, then it's 25. Now I'm sitting with 39. But across Africa, their numbers oh, are so plunging. He does own a reserve. Hunted by poachers, poisoned wow. by farmers. But their habitat wild. is being destroyed. They don't get relocated, they just get shot. The lion numbers have dropped uh, by a staggering amount from around about, who knows, but it's around about 300,000 about 15, 20 years Sir? ago, down to about 20, 23,000 to this day, which is horrific, which means if it continues to decline on that, uh, at that rate in another 10 to 15 years, goodbye to lions. Yes. That's why Kevin is prepared to, to put nothing. his life on the line to raise awareness of their desperate plight. Whoa. If they didn't know you, do you think they might eat you? The lions? For sure. What do you think they see you as? No, these lions definitely see me as more than just a human actor. Probably. You know, <laughs> or being an honorary pride member. But then on another occasion, you, you sit there and you realise that they do see you as something different, but they've just accepted you into their clique. So if anyone else had to come here and try and do this, it's, you know, they're not really part of this group. If anyone it's could crazy. understand the love oh that they God, have for their they pet, love him. Um, I could probably say times that by 10. <laughs> Quite frankly, that's how you could get killed by a lion. <laughs> if he lies on top of you, <laughs> he could crush you to death. Ah, guys, please, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll swim with the lions in the river, walk with them in the open areas amongst the game. So yeah, I'll, I'll do most things that people would do with their pet dog, with, with the lions. <laughs> that even includes afternoon naps. Oh my god. He says, shush now, sleep. Are there times when you're not welcome? Well, there's times when, when 
you feel less welcome <laughs> into a pride of lions and there's times when you walk in there and you just feel like you rule the roost uh, and that everyone's just full of love and you know <laughs> wanting wanting a piece of you but their violent instinct is just under the surface <laughs> the whole time one wrong move and everything can flare up yeah, the instinct. actually stop it defuse the situation <laughs> Sometimes that biting will turn to real biting. No, Very I quickly. could never. Stop it. So that's why I just nip it in the bud. I'm to murder you, boy. If you react Stop badly it. and you start pulling or you start uh, getting Stop. nervous or panicking, uh, he will bite down on you. So you've got to just make him realize that you're not afraid of him and he can't just bite your leg at, at will. You see, you can't. You guys are naughty today, hey? You get your tongue pulled. Tongue pulled if you do that. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Have you been hurt? Uh, yes, I get bitten, I get scratched, I get jumped on, my back gets put out, my shoulders. Fortunately, I've never been hospitalized by a lion. That scar there and there is really a lion of his size, actually, Rafiki, that bit me accidentally. Uh, this canine here, the top one, went uh, straight through to the bone almost, and uh, that was the bottom one. Uh, didn't go in quite as deep, but that was really just a, a bite out of a reaction. He got a bit of a fright and he turned around and whack right through the arm. Stop! Do you worry that one day they might turn on you? No, I don't <laughs> worry about lions turning on me because the day that that happens and you start to think about, well, well one day will these lions turn on me, you shouldn't be doing it. Don't have any regrets. I, I live a no regret policy in my life. So I'll probably do it all the same again if I was brought back down to earth again, given a second chance. Uh, I like I like living life, not just existing. Um, so you know, for me, I'm truly living when I'm with the lions. This was some. He really is like the South African Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin used to do all sorts of different things like that. But what Kevin has done, which is so special, is that he's created such strong bonds with wild animals, like the same ones, you know, in his sanctuary. But they, it's a sanctuary, but they also run wild. So, so they are legit wild animals who go and hunt and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, someone commented here. Um, <laughs> the fact that he was like pulling at the lion's mouth and pulling at the lion's tongue. I was just like, oh my God. Like you can tell that he knows the lion's behavior and what they will do in certain situations kind of like the lion psychology you know what i mean so um really amazing <laughs> really amazing seriously you can tell that's years and years and years of work damn that's scary i don't think i would i don't know i would feel weird about that right because you always hear about wild animals who really do have those instincts to kill um and they will just turn on their owners or turn on the people who have raised them and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, that would always scare me, but um, it seems like he knows the psychology and the warning signs of lions so well that he can see it even before he walks up to the pride, right? Because he looks for the characteristics before he even heads over there to see if there's any, um, you know subtle anger you know if the lines are filling off you know he can see from a while away by the looks of it so you can tell he's very very smart in this field um so thank you so much to trey for sharing this video with me i thought that was absolutely awesome amazing seriously amazing so everyone else let me know what you guys think about this video um let me know what you guys think about kevin <gasps> is he crazy i think he's He's brave, <laughs> he's brave. Um, so 
so yeah if you do have a recommendation do head over to my website which i will link down below and apart from that subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys mm.